When you say the word Asian, the continent is so massive. There are so many different peoples, languages, ethnicities, states, nations, that this word kind of deletes all of them. It makes them to one monolithic whole, which is contrary to <laughs> reality. So for instance, Asian here in the States means Korean, Chinese, Japanese, pretty much. And then in the UK, Asian means Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, people from the Indian subcontinent. This word has mutated to mean these things over time, and who knows what Asian will mean in 20 years. I'm Asian, for instance. The Middle East is in Asia. No one will ever refer to me as Asian, which is interesting. Why? The largest population in Asia is China, which is the crux of the record deals with China, the imagined China. However, Chinatown is a really interesting bastion in the city because it's one of the last neighborhoods downtown that has still held out against momentous gentrification. There is this whiff of references to the past, but the reality is that those kinds of structures were never part of this landscape. They always started off as a architectural nostalgia for the homeland. I genuinely believe that stereotypes exist as a form of usurping power in order to maintain power in the hands of a certain group of people. You have to create enemies, you have to perpetuate myths. We need to be reminded that these ideas are out there and these issues are out there and let's discuss them, you know.